right now, firefighters in Summit County hard at work on this one. Jamie Leary joins us live from there tonight. Jamie, you have some new information on how this fire just might have started. Well, it started around 4 p.m. yesterday, and no structures have been lost. And while the details of the fire start are under investigation, we know that it was human caused and it was started on a dispersed campground on Forest Service land. It, it's as dry as it has ever been for this time of year. Justin Conrad has managed many of the fires in Colorado this year, and while this one isn't as large, crews aren't taking any chances. You never know. Um, as explosive as some of the fires have been this season with Pine Gulch, Cameron, or, or Williams Fork, you know, nothing's out of their own possibilities for this summer. Summit County Fire and EMS, along with assistance from Grand County, worked well into Wednesday night to contain the blaze. Thursday morning, a type three incident management team took over. With the winds coming in, uh, potential winds for today, um, just trying to get more boots on the ground, as many boots on the ground as possible to get ahead of it in case it decides to make a move. Helicopters along with larger aircraft like CL-215s spent the day making water drops. Conrad says crews are making progress. The fire by late afternoon. So it's, it's smoldering and creeping along. Um, no big runs. Um, no trees have been torching so far today. The underlying message from Conrad's perspective, this fire was preventable. You know, Summit County is still in stage one fire restrictions. Um, so no fires while you're out camping unless you're in a, a forest service designated camp spot with, with uh, an established metal ring. And with cooler weather anticipated and all of the resources allocated today, firefighters hope to get a good handle on it. It's 80 percent, or it's 80 acres burned currently with zero percent contained, but they are optimistic they can knock it down. We're live in Summit County. Jamie Leary, CBS4 Mountain Newsroom. Jamie, thanks.